Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm Nikki Pratt, the Watchman on the Wall, bringing forth to you today this video um, that you need to see concerning the eclipse, concerning August 21st. I don't even know the title of this video yet, but I do know what needs to be talked about, and that's all that matters. But more importantly, get your Bibles, get paper, pen, um, there is some word that needs to be heard in this hour, uh, dangerous times that we're living in. Um, things are getting ready to change. And if you don't know that, if you don't see that, if you don't feel it, then I'm getting ready to share it with you and tell you. Um, let me pause the video for a second. I always do a little prayer over myself. I feel like I need to do that, and then I'm going to come back to you. So hold on just a second. Okay. Now, I feel better. All right. Now, okay. So, like I said, get your Bibles, your pens, your paper, and all of that jazz, because there is a lot to be learned in this video. Um, many of you, maybe not you, must I say, not the subscribers that come here. If you knew, maybe, maybe, but maybe you know somebody that's being just caught up right now. And I'm going to tell you why. There's a lot of deception and that is going on in this hour because Revelation 12:12 12, 12 says that Satan knows that he has but a short time, so he is working overtime and double time. So if he's working overtime and double time, that means that you need to be doing just as much in your prayer time. All right? So with that said, let me say a quick prayer. By your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you for this opportunity for me to be able to come and bring a word forth for your people. Lord God, give me the tongue of the learned. And Lord God, open my ears that I may hear a word in season for your people. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decrease while you increase. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over your people that is listening right now. Under the sound of my voice, I saturate and satiate them, Lord God, in your blood. Even, uh, Lord God, their families. Lord God, the blood of Jesus protects them, Lord God, from every outside demonic force or every entity, anything, Lord God, that would try to come against them, Lord God, with distraction in their way, Lord God, I hereby bind it in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, Lord God, that this word go forth on their hearts, Lord God, bringing forth fruit in due season. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. All right. I get so many emails. I don't get emails so much lately for all the things that is take going on and taking place. And I'm the only one in my ministry that can <laughs> answer these messages. So if you don't get answer back from emails quick, it don't mean that I'm ignoring you. It just means it's just me. And I have over 3,000 plus subscribers and I get emails all the time. Uh, from one in particular, uh, send me about at least 20 a day. So, um, and then I work a full-time job and a full-time mom and a full-time wife. So, go figure. So, anyway, hear this. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Mention all over the Bible. Why did the Lord do that? Because there is a reason. Many are planning eclipse parties, booking hotels, cars, spending all kinds of money on different things for this event. As if it's not enough distraction in the world of chaos, violence, racial tension, birth pangs of calamities, destruction, killings, rioting, distress of nations, Seas roaring with perplexities, and that's Bible, earthquakes in diverse places, love of many growing cold, sounds like Bible prophecy unfolding before your very eyes. As Jesus spoke of, spoke of, of the signs of the coming of Matthew 24, Luke 21, and Mark 13. And you made plans to see the eclipse event. You made plans to see that. It better not be one, not one of my subscribers sitting up out nowhere 
And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. No, I'm not trying to control nobody. That is not my plan. I'm just saying. I'm saying that to say this. Trust and believe there's more important things that you need to be doing because Satan in this hour is deceiving many, and you don't need to be caught up. Okay, the eclipse, there is darkness in the eclipse. There is the sun, there is the moon, and there is going to be an eclipse that's taking place. It just actually comes together and kind of slide across like this. And then there is going to be parts of the world that is dark, and there is going to be parts of the world that look like it's in shadow. And then there's going to be parts of the world that looks like it's kind of like in between, kind of hazy. It's going to look very, very weird. I say all that to say this. This darkness is void of light, meaning light should be doing something. And right now when I say light should be doing something, I'm talking about the light of the world, which is the body of Christ, which is supposed to be the true believers, Christians. Okay, so what hanging out in the darkness watching the eclipse is going to do? Ain't nobody got time for that is, is what I'm saying. Do you not see what's going on? Nikki is just an eclipse. There is nowhere in the Bible where it says we can't view the eclipse. All right. So if you just said that, you sleep and you better wake up. And you better wake up fast because you're going to be taken fast. Ye that are spiritual judge all things. The Bible says, watch therefore and pray. Watch therefore and pray. He didn't say watch therefore and look at every... <clears throat> what is darkness with light? Well, Nikki, we didn't answer this. You know, this thing is coming up on the earth. This is something that the Lord is doing. We ain't got no control of that. I just want to be a part of it and go see it. Yeah, I booked off a hotel for for a couple of days. I just think it'll be fascinating. And we never seen it. And I got my kids out, and we're gonna view it. And then you don't have any uh, the eyewear to wear, and you look at it, and you mess up your eyes. Yeah. Don't be deceived. You know, uh, one of my subscribers, her name is Carrie, she sent me something. I had, I put up lots and lots of warning videos by word of knowledge, by revelation, by vision, by dream, what have you. All from the Lord. We give him glory. We thank you, Lord, for sharing with us, for revealing your secrets to your servants. We thank you, Lord, for your divine intervention and letting us know of the things that's going to come before they actually come. John 13, 19 says that, I tell you the truth, that when it comes to pass, ye may believe that I am ye. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just the vessel and the sinner saved by grace. Thanking him all the time and giving him glory for the things that he shares with, with me to bring to you, to keep you on alert. Now, uh, Ms. Carrie shared uh, a new story with me and another one of my subscribers, his name is Darian, Adrian, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, you know who you are because you, you, you emailed today and you alerted me to some things while I was at work. But anyway, Taiwan, uh, Carrie sent me that Taiwan was in darkness. Over 6 million outages. And uh, it's enough darkness for people to focus on, okay, in the world. Why do you need to sit and watch an eclipse? Taiwan, she brought to my rem my remembrance. She said, "Nikki, didn't you do a warning video warning Taiwan?" And I was like, "Yeah, I think I did. I think I put a video up about that." And I went back, and sure enough, yes, by the help of the Lord, uh, that particular day, Louisiana and Taiwan was warned at the same time. 
Taiwan was warned on June 20th to repent. Taiwan is being afflicted with judgment. Okay? Um, with uh, power outages and I think something else, but with it anyway, um, over six million outages and then some other things that's going on with Taiwan. Um, maybe a mudslide. Two. Yeah, but yeah, some things going on. Um, also, there was a video that was put up from this channel um, warning the southern states, especially my area of Louisiana, of power outages. There's been multiple power outages, not just when a storm come by. We woke up the other morning, not us, you know, without power, but we did last, last Friday. We... Uh, there was a storm. We had power outages for about 24 hours, but, well, not even 24 hours. I'll take that back. Probably like 10 hours, okay? But here in Shreveport the other day, Wednesday, there were about 5,400 people woke up to no power. No storms, no wind, no nothing, just no power. And it continually keeps happening. Why? How many customers was afflicted? 5,400 people. Five plus four equals nine. This is the ninth hour, you people. It's going to continue to happen. So let's look at, I'm going to read uh, to be faster. I'm going to do this Bible out of my phone. King James Version. And then towards the end, I'm going to flip to the A&P because I really need you guys to see something. So what's up with this darkness? Why we need to be separate? The Bible says, what is the righteous of being the light? What is it doing with darkness? Um, and I'll paraphrase that, by the way. But let's look at this. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5 through 7. And it reads, Ye are the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Okay, verse 6, therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. When it says that, it's talking spiritual. Because if you're not aware of what's going on or what could take place or what could be coming, possibly could, could be coming, and you're not watching, you're drunken in the night. Okay, verse, um, let's look at, uh, the book of John, chapter 1. That's in the four Gospels. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 5. And it reads, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So aren't you light of the world? Didn't he call us as light? We don't need to be in no part of darkness. I'm going somewhere with this. Stay with me. Turn to the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 13. And it reads, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us to the kingdom of his dear son? He's delivered you from the power of darkness. Uh, let's look at the book of Job. Job chapter 17, verse 9 through 16. The righteous also shall hold on his way, and he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. But as for you all, do ye return and come now, for I cannot find one wise man among you. The Lord need to find somebody wise. Verse 11. My days are past. My purposes are broken off even the thoughts of my heart. Verse 12, they change the night into day. The light is short because of darkness. If I wake, the grave is mine house. I made my bed in the darkness. Verse 14, I have said to corruption, thou art my father, to the worm, thou art my mother and my sister. Verse 15, and where is now my hope? As for my hope, who shall see it? 
Verse 16, they shall go down to the bars of the pit when our rest together is in the dust. Why did I read those scriptures? Because in this, to me, is a, is a parallel between light and darkness. Light and darkness. It's asked in this chapter, where is the wise? Where is the wise? Uh, let's look at John chapter 8, the book of John. I'm going too far. It's in the four Gospels, chapter 8, verse 12. And it reads, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light of life. We don't have time to be sitting and watching no eclipse. Okay? John chapter 12, a few chapters over. Verse 46. And it reads, I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness. And that's speaking spiritual darkness. Awake ye that sleepeth. You know, you're, you're in the dark. And he hasn't called us to be in the dark. If you you got time to go sit and watch an eclipse, lay on your car or whatever you're going to do, go out in the park and set up a hotel, make these parties and, and playing all these songs of... Um, Bunny Tyler, whatever her name, the total eclipse of the heart. Yo, come on, wake up. This is a trick of the enemy. I'm hearing all kinds of things that people are doing just to view this eclipse. When the Lord is saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, pay attention, keep your eyes on me. Don't look to the right or to the left, stay focused, stay on me. Don't worry about the things of the world. See, this is how you, you, you come out of this. When you see the world going one way, that means you should be going the opposite way. And when, if you continue to listen to me tonight, you're going to find out what you should be doing and how the enemy is using things like this. Because, yes, this is a, a, a total eclipse that has happened before in the Bible. There's reasons for it that is happening. You just don't know what it is, but keep listening. So where and what is the spirit? At in this hour, and what is it saying? Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. Be wise. Be watchful. Seek discernment. Why discernment? Because there is much deception that is taking place. It has arised. Okay? Deceiving many. As the Bible says, it would even, there would be so much deception, basically, it would deceive even the very elect. I was deceived. <laughs> but so. Okay? Almost recently diseased. Okay? But look, listen to this. The Bible says that even the very elect will be deceived. That means there's some strong deception. The very elect, meaning his chosen ones. But watch this. Remember, I spoke to you earlier and said, don't be. Look, don't look to the left or to the right. Just keep your eyes. Stay focused on Jesus. Stay close to him, basically. There is an eclipse coming. And also, don't be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Because I found um, uh, another sister in Christ. She's a minister, and I have the same calling that I have. And she sent me something. And she wanted me to read it. And you know, sometimes the Lord will have you send somebody something, and you thinking you're sharing it with somebody, but uh, for a good reason. And when you send it, they come back and say, "Oh, I seen this, sister, brother. Wait a minute." So this was kind of that situation. I let her know, "Wait a minute. Mm -mm, don't watch that." Been there, done that. I was deceived back in 2013, honey. I can tell you that. What that says, forward and backwards, because it was a great lesson learned. And when the Lord is training you, he will let allow you 
to be deceived and show you certain things so you would know. <laughs> and this is exactly what happened. But, but let me explain. There's an eclipse coming. Some of you have been searching to and fro, probably have came up on this doctrine that was called in the past the three-day darkness. Three days darkness. Let me tell you, that floated so much around in 2013 and had me and a portion, about a quarter of my family, just deceived. Satan did that early on with me because what he was trying to do was discredit me because he knew that I was going to be a voice in this end time, warning, sharing the gospel, uh, leading people, and telling them to repent, he knew that I had some importance. So he brought that up. But one thing <laughs> that uh, what was meant for evil was definitely turned for good. Yes, it was. Because one thing I know the Lord say, yep, she deceives us all get out. But one thing about it, she sure is warning all that she can about uh, what's supposed to be coming. She is doing that. But watch this. This three-day darkness madness, it spoke of a comet, darkness, demons, earthquakes, a great earthquake. Then it spoke of locking your doors, covering your windows, buying candles, sit together. Speaking of, you see this curtain behind me? That curtain, I can't stand it. I don't like curtains, period. I think they bring on dust and allergies and all that kind of thing. But I, I, I just since I put it there, I ain't worried about it no more. But the whole reason why I have curtains all around this house is because of this three-day darkness thing back in 2013. Um, this buzz was, was, was flying around, and it said, do not open your doors. Uh, basically, the demons will be out. Make sure no windows are open where the light can come in. Jesus was going to speak to each one of you while you gathered with your family together. Have your candles lit. And, and uh, I, I think it mentioned maybe it will be praying. The Lord would speak to each one of you individually. And uh, this person had a blog and said that the Lord told her that uh, he wasn't going to speak to her anymore because of what was coming and Christ was going to meet with us individually in, the, in our particular rooms, you know, where we were gathered. Let me tell you something. This booklet, because when you print this thing out on this blog, it, it talks about a cosmic event that was going to happen. And then um, that was going to take place. And then it talked about an earthquake. And then the, the way it was all written and set up. Now, mind you, there were scriptures with it that correlated and that were kind of like on point. But then as you read it, you didn't know well, what was going to come first, what was going to come second. Well, wait a minute. It, it was so much confusion in it after reading it like the fifth or sixth time. And uh, one of my cousins, who's just smart, you know, she graduated with honors, and we went over, we reading it, and we back and forth, and then we started seeing the confusion start set in, and we scratching our heads, and, you know, we were told this cosmic event was Comet Ison, okay? And this was, our, many of you probably remember, but Comet Ison was to come on the scene, and, and when I got the pamphlet up, I, I made copies, and, well, hey, you know, uh, I know the Lord wants me to start doing videos right now, and this is coming, oh, my God, everybody's talking about it, and I need to pass this out to, to my family members, and I'm, I'm giving it out to some coworkers and my supervisor, and I'm sitting down having a conversation with people, and I'm, I'm telling them about different numbers I'm seeing, and, 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 and um and, and what's to come, and this going to happen, and, oh, you got to be prepared because next week, honey, it's going to be something different. You know this coming ice is supposed to come, and it's going to hit, and it's going to be bad. And I'm just, you know, and I'm I'm thinking I'm doing my due diligence of, of, of what I'm called to do, you know. I'm trying to warn people. And then I started thinking, like, 
Me and my coworker at work was like, women, the spirit operating on one car, bro. Well, why don't my pastor know or the church? Well, ain't nobody else talking about it. You know, in our city, this was all on YouTube. And let me bring you back to a point. First off, it, it never happened, okay? That in itself should let you know. Uh-oh. But when wake-up call was for me is when I read in her blog where it said, gather all together, be in one room. The Lord is going to meet with you. Be in one room in, in your house. Don't be nowhere else. Be together because the Lord is going to meet you there. And then after, you know, just seeking the Lord and praying, I was like, Lord, I, there's confusion. And, and then immediately see the Holy Spirit will bring forth scriptures. And then I can hear the Holy Spirit says, there is no confusion in the Lord thy God. God is not in the midst of confusion. He's not the author of confusion. And I was like, yeah. And then when I read that portion that said, gather your family and be there together, Immediately, this scripture came to my head. Let me read it. Turn your Bibles to Matthew 24. The Holy Spirit will lead you in all spiritual wisdom and truth if you're seeking it. Again, the Bible said, if the, the even the very elect will be deceived. Watch this. It says, um, let's start at verse 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it, not. Excuse me, let me flip to the AMP. I need you to hear this. I'm in the Amplified version. Okay, I'm going to read 23 again. because I want, I, I, don't, I want my babes in Christ to really get this. It says, then if anyone says to you, during the great tribulation, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, the Lord said, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets, do you see what immediately follows that? For false Christ and false prophets will appear and they will provide great signs and wonders so as to deceive, if possible, even the very elect. In parentheses, it says God's chosen one. Then it says, verse 25, listen carefully. I have told you in advance. In the King James Version, it says, I have told you before. So here it is. I have told you in advance. So if they say to you, they who, the false Christ and false prophets, if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out there or look. And they say, he is in the inner rooms of a house. Do not believe it. Now listen, when the Holy Spirit gave me that verse, I was like, wait a minute. Let me go find that scripture because I remember reading that. And when I read it, now I'm just reading the Amplified Version today. And when I saw in a room, but when I read the King James Version, I already knew by the help of the Holy Spirit. It was saying in a specific place, in a, in a room. Watch this. It says, of a house, do not believe it. Verse 27, for just as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will the coming in glory of the Son of Man. Everyone will see him clearly. Everyone will see him clearly. When the Lord says, as the lightning comes from the east and west, let me tell you something. You ever been laying in your bed? You may have curtains, okay, covering your window. Let some lightning come. Don't you see it? So why do you need to be in a specific place? It said cover up the windows, cover up everything. And I was like, wait a minute. That's why I said cover up the light, the, the windows. Because if Jesus is coming, the enemy don't want you to see. 
But just as here it said, don't believe it. Just as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west. The Lord is speaking. Watch this, verse 28. It says, wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will be fl will flock together. And in the King James Version, it says, wherever the eagles gather. Oh, I got to find that because I love to hear it. When I read that, I was li liberated. I knew then. I have been deceived. Watch this. Verse, I'm going to read it out of the King James Version. It says, Wherefore, if they say unto you, in verse 26, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning secret chambers, I knew that had to be. Because in her blog, it says something about, it was, it was like secret, being one spot, you know. And then, verse 27, For as the lightning coming out of the east and shining even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 28, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. And when I read that, I was like, okay, so where, do you, where would you see a carcass? Would you see that carcass in your house? Would you see a carcass in your room gathered in the secret place? No, you won't. Where would you see that carcass? Outside. What did the Lord say? He said, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Meaning, when he comes, everybody comes. If you belong to him, you won't see it. But the enemy in that three-day darkness, because it was saying something about don't open your doors if you hear people knocking. I mean, it was all kinds of stuff to put you in absolute fear. Okay, so I just had to share that with you. So if you, if you, one, that have ran across that, stay away from it. I'm telling you now, it's deception. Then none of that happened. It's been four years ago. And it has popped up again because of this cosmic event. The devil is a lot. Watch this. Another thing you must know that the eclipse is a warning to the USA, basically. Um, in Nehemiah Day, Nineveh, and all that story, I can't get into it right now, but this kind of thing happened. There was a warning. Okay, watch this. The viewing area, and many of you probably have seen this. If you've seen, and I'm talking about us, not Nehemiah Day right now, I'm talking about us. If you've seen the map that they showed where the viewing areas where, and it kind of crisscross, where this, um, not comment, eclipse is supposed to be shown. It is like an X, like a bullseye, like a target. Where in the middle where this X's bullseye target is, I noticed something. It run smack dab perfect in the zones where my earthquake dream was. There was an explosion in that vicinity where the X meets. And then after the explosion was an, a massive, huge, massive earthquake splitting America. That's biblical. The book of Amos talks about that. Why America would be split, it talks about it. Now, when they split Israel, you best believe it's going to be on up in the USA. Can't you see the birth pains, the number nines? And if you've been a subscriber of mine, you know what the nines are. If you don't know what it means, go back and watch some of the ninth hour videos. Uh, there are some ninth hour warnings and alarms, but I kind of explain what that means. Jesus died at the ninth hour, so it makes so much sense that there's a lot of things that's happening in the world and in the uh, world concerning, and it has the number nines in these news stories. The Lord is speaking. Um, these are birth pains, uh, all in the news everywhere. More tension, violence, death. Um, I told y'all recently this year that the Lord shared uh, with me that visions shall come forth. Uh, that's visions in, uh, from the Lord now. 
okay? Um, all from him. Like, it's been on point, like 9,000. Um, Minister Davis shared with me uh, a mudslide vision or dream that she had. And again, because she's had some in the past, and then a couple of days later, here we hear about these mudslides in Sierra Leone. And then it said that, I think it said 300 were dead, 600 injured, or vice versa. Either way, if you add that up, 6 plus 3 equals what? 9, a total of 900. But the number 9, 9, 9 is in, is in there. So um, all from him. I mean, whether it be he spoke by vision, dream, word of knowledge, or revelation. What should the Christian be doing? If you want to lock up, don't be locked up nowhere watching no eclipse. Do This is what I plan to do. I plan to be locked up and shut in my house, doing nothing but prayer, praise, worship, and most of all, Praying and praying and praying and praying because you need to be preparing for the worst. Being safe, then sorry. Gathering water. Let me, let me explain some to you what the Holy Spirit shared to me. The other day, I was concerned about, okay, I need to get some more water. I'm down on water. I really need to get some more water and prepare. And uh, I'm out of all my water except for one case. So I got to basically like throw it all over. Well, um, I'm driving down the street and I'm sort of thinking, I'm like, you know what? I didn't think about, I, I started thinking about all the water that I would have to buy that you have to have. If there's no power uh, and the water's off, number one, if the water's off, you won't be able to do, you won't be able to flush the toilet. I was like, man, I didn't think about that. Do you know how much water it takes to make, cause a toilet to flush? A lot of water. And I was like, man, I'm going to have to buy a lot of water. We don't know when, when things going to uh, heat up, but let me tell you. I've been getting emails from um, um, Ms. Campbell, Marna Campbell, um, Carrie, um, Minister Davis, um, lots of people. And, and look, there's talks of North Korea is supposed to be at the borders. No, the military, our military. The United States military is supposed to be at the borders of North Korea practicing some ex military exercise. Y'all, something is getting ready to go down. You don't have time to be watching an eclipse. If anything, you need to be somewhere. Let me back up. I didn't even finish. See, help me, Holy Spirit. Let me back up. Okay, back with the water thing. The Holy Spirit shared with me. You have water now. Get you empty jugs. You know, we drink juice all the time, milk all the time. Rinse those things out. Uh, your empty bleach bottles, your empty, uh, I'm going somewhere with this, hold on, bleach bottles, not for you to drink, people. Um, your detergent bottles, just any book, uh, anything that will hold lots of water, basically. Fill those things up now. Put it in your garage, put it in a closet, put it in an empty room, put it in the backyard, wherever you can store it. Why? Because, no, I don't drink faucet water. I'm just saying. But think about it. If you've got that water stored up, that's the water you can use to flush the toilet. Wow. I didn't think of that. But the Holy Spirit revealed it to me. I didn't, I didn't think of it. Another thing um, that came to me was, look, some I don't know when, but just to be on the safe side, on the 20th, before the 21st, fill your tubs up with water. Both tubs, you have three bathrooms, two bathrooms, fill it up with water. Whether you need to or not, fill it up with water. Because as long as it's stopped up, you can go get, you have water. 
not that you're going to drink it. Um, let me, let me, sure, you can, because uh, that water can be used to flush your toilet. It can be used to rinse things. It can be used to wash clothes that's dirty that you can't, I'm just naming some things. It can be used to clean. It can be used to, um, to bathe with. When you, there is no water, see, people, right now we take water for granted. But when you don't have any water, oh, my God, you don't miss that water until your well run dry. Um, but it's a lot of things that I'm going to share continually um, before, uh, especially on tomorrow. But um, the last thing, a lot that I've been seeing of deception is, Any of you have heard of, and this kind of going off kilter a little bit, but not really. Any of you have heard of Tasha Cobbs Leonard collaborating with Nicki Minaj? You're talking about a total eclipse. That's the eclipse. You guys were supposed to be light. What's supposed to be light with darkness. And they collaborate, just like an eclipse. Whatever is going on in the spiritual realm will manifest itself in the natural. That's exactly what's taking place. And let me tell you something. When I saw uh, this particular video talking about it, I mean, I, it comes up in your YouTube feed, and I'm like, what she doing? What? Tasha Cobbs is a very anointed singer, beautiful music, fill me up, Lord, um, um, lots of uh, other songs, but you're going to collaborate and do a song with Nicki Minaj, somebody that dressed pornographically vulgar, you're going to make a video with her. And still call yourself light. Look, the Lord said, what is darkness? What is light with darkness? He said, we are in the world, but we're not to be of the world. But see, just like Mary Mary, y'all can say what you want. You can get mad with me all you want to. That I love God is some I love mess. But there was another video that, you know, I just tell it like a T.I. is. I tell the truth. It's real around here. As for this house, we're going to serve the Lord, whether you like it or not. I don't talk, preach, teach, instruct, none of that for popularity. I don't have an opinion when it comes to the Lord's word. If any man speaks the Bible, says, let him speak as the oracles of God. I'm just saying. Now watch this. She said on a video, and she's on the microphone, and, you know, she's in her preacher mood spirit is what I like to call it. And she says this, that the Lord told her to collaborate a video or music with Nicki Minaj. First off, the Lord ain't tell you that. The Lord will not go against the grain of his word. It's either black or white, just like that eclipse. It's either Black or white is not mingled. He said, be ye separate from the world, not mingle with it. Just like Mary Mary. Oh, we doing trap music. We going out in it. See, that's a lie from the pits of hell. What's trapping you is the fact that it's all about the Benjamins, baby, because it ain't nothing about the Lord. None of that is about the Lord. Don't let the enemy fool y'all. Because, see, I saw Christians where she called herself preaching and telling people that the, the Lord told her that, which is a lie from the pits of hell. The Lord is not going to go against his holy word, period. And she was like, you know, they up there raising their hands and, and yelling and screaming at the stuff she was saying, saying that the Lord told her that. And I'm like, those people are blind. They deceived. When you see light mixing with darkness like that, and the Bible said, what? What is light with darkness? Be not entangled. Be not unequally yoked with that. 
don't have nothing to do with it. Remember early on I read, in light, the darkness comprehend, they don't comprehend the light. And then she writes something saying something about fellow believer. What part of Nicki Minaj look like a believer to you? I hope y'all ain't it. You, you don't come to this channel right here where truth is preaching. I'm not saying I know everything. I don't. I'm just going to say I don't know everything. I'm still seeking for the truth of a whole lot of things. But I do know truth and light when I see it. There are so many people say, oh, somebody commented on that video, oh, it, it just irritates me to see the judgmental Christians say this and say that about her and they don't know what they're talking about. Let me tell you something. The Lord is against uh, Christians who don't. You know, I don't like saying Christian. I like saying believers. But they call Nicki. She called Nicki Minaj a believer, and then tried to use the scripture to validate why she was collaborating videos and songs with her. The devil is a lie. You shall know that tree by its fruit. Ain't no way you could be singing songs like that and rapping and. Cleavage all out and and legs all open. You got Tasha Cobb and then Tasha Cobb and then you have Nicki Minaj. Really? But Tasha, you messing up, baby. You messing up. You being deceived. What's deceiving you is the the Benjamin. Stay on the Lord's side. Is so much that's going on that I have to share with you guys concerning the Lord still is dealing with discernment. Why? Because there's so much deception. I need you guys to pray and pray like never before. What you should be doing is in your house, houses this weekend, praying as much as you can. Pray for protection. Send your prayers up ahead of time. See, a lot of these people, when stuff starts hitting the fan, they're going to want to pray after things that went down. <clears throat> Whatever. Send your prayers up now. Be praying for your coworkers, your friends, your frenemies, your, 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 your haters, your, your, your family. Pray for everybody. Pray for protection. Pray that our guardian angels is going to be with us when all stuff hits the fan. Because it's getting ready to go down. And if you don't see it, you blind already. Perhaps it's a total eclipse of your heart. I'm just saying. I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.